Hey friends, welcome to another Tech Talk tutorial video. Today we removed these speakers from an HP Pavilion all-in-one computer. You can see it lying over here. It's actually a pretty simple process. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So the tools you're gonna need for this job are a set of pliers, a hexagonal wrench. These are these little computer uh, wrench packs you can get as well as a Phillips head screwdriver or flathead screwdriver. Now you can get all of these by hitting one of the links in the description box below if you wanna get it on Amazon, or you can pick up all these things at one of your local Walmarts. All right, friends, let's get started. With those tools, basically what we're gonna be doing is removing the stand. You can see it kind of pivots like this. Once you lay it over flat, you can actually see where the four screws are connected to the mounting bracket on the back of this computer. Now, I've actually already removed three of those screws. They look like this. You can see they have that little hexagonal head to them. Now, all you need to do is get one of your, your hexagonal wrenches here and we're gonna pop it into the into place right here. Now, if your screws are already loose, this is gonna be a very easy process. You're just gonna go counterclockwise, obviously, and loosen those guys up. Now, these were actually really tight for me, so I had to actually take my pliers and grip them on top here and give it a good solid turn while I was holding this back. Once that is loose, this actually just pulls right off. Okay, once we have the stand removed, it's gonna give us much better access to the uh, the back panel here. And what we're gonna to do to remove it is actually access two screws that are right here on the bottom. Now, they will be covered up by these little uh, rubber uh, kind of sealers. And so you can see I've taken off one off the left side already where you can see the Phillips head or a, again, a regular flat head uh, screw exists there. So to pop these things off, that's what we're gonna use our little uh, flathead key. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna pop that right out. You can use a pen or uh, any other kind of really small object, but it's just a little rubber sealer they, that covers it up. Okay, once you have these screws exposed, again, all you need to do is actually give it a quick half turn. And as you can see, it's spring-loaded and it's gonna pop that bottom right open. Again, you have to do this with both sides. But, uh, but again, once you pop that that spring, it'll lift it up enough where you can get your screwdriver underneath this, the, uh, the sides here and actually pop the clips. Now be very careful when you're doing this because you're gonna have to go along all the way around the side and basically get your screwdriver in and pop this, these clips that hold this in. Now again, once you have gone all around, this should just pop up. You can see I just did it like that. Do not yank this thing up though because it is attached as you'll see here in a moment, by a couple of different ribbons to the back as well as the, uh, the disc drive here that you can see. Okay, so the easiest way to remove this ribbon from the DVD drive is to simply come up here and on the back of this, there's gonna be uh, this little connector piece. And that'll just slide right out like that. And you can disconnect the, uh, the ribbon and then move it over to your main computer area. All right, now that we have our board off, we can actually go after our speakers. Now to get at these speakers, there's actually just a couple of different screws that are holding it in. There's one right here and one right here. And on the other side, you can see there's actually a, uh, some wiring that's attached down here. But again, one right here and one right here. So I'm gonna take our Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna go after the, uh, the right one, as you can see, because I have this, again, facing down, right and left. And so we're gonna go after the right one. I'm just gonna put the uh, Phillips head in like that, and we'll remove that screw. I need a couple extra twists with the hand, but it comes out pretty easily just like that. And then we'll go after this other screw down here. Okay. So with those two screws uh, attached, you can actually pull this up. And as you can see, this one's clipped into uh, one of the main boards. And then this black wiring comes along the bottom here 
and attaches to the left speaker. So that's how the, uh, the sound kind of gets into this one. Again, we're gonna take off these two screws on this guy. And uh, let's do that real quick. And then this guy right here. Okay, with those two removed, we can actually pull up this speaker. You can see it wraps around, and then again, with this little rib or this little wire clip, that just actually pulls right up and out. And there you go, we've detached our speakers, and they're ready for new ones to be inserted. Again, just reverse these steps, and we, you'll be back in business. All right, friends, hope that's helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot more tutorial videos coming up soon. If you need to fix any of these other HP Pavilion parts, stay tuned. Check out the links in the description box below because we're going to be going after the hard drive as well as some of the other logic boards. All right, take care, friends.